Oh, no. Man, good poop. <laughs> All right, you have to pick any flavor. Which one is the best in here? Crip custard. Crip custard. Cherry cheesecake. Look, Ore ooh, Oreo cookie overload is literally the definition of how I eat my ice cream. Full of chocolate. So when I just got I got chocolate ice cream with chocolate cake in it. That better be bust. If not, I'm going somewhere else. What are you eating? That looks terrible, dude. What is it? Is that vanilla? Vanilla caramel cookie dough and oreo. It's the, so the, the caramel will change the color that bad. Thank you, video and boy. Ah. Thank you. Appreciate it. So they just give what you is that? That's thing. not chocolate either. Bro, all right, what is that? To deal with it, what is that? What did you order? What did you get? It's supposed to be chocolate with. You hadn't even tasted it. Maybe. It's... But how is it white? Better deal with it. Don't chocolate. Take... Take... Oh, yes, that was mine. <laughs> take a bite, bro. I'm mad, bro. They had messed up my ice cream, but they fixed it now. What? Your stomach? What are you filming, boy? You, boy. I don't like how you said that. There's a tang of race in that one. I heard it. Maybe there was. Boy. Maybe there was? What, are you gonna, what are you gonna do about it? He did call it. Did you just shotgun me? Wow. Wow. You got that one. He got that one in. I'll give it to him. I, hold up. I challenge you to a duel. Okay. <laughs> nope. Fair fight. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. What's that? A gun. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. Let me take this off the plug real quick. All right, y'all. This is not going to be long at all. Because, you know, it, you know, uh, this, I'd be very surprised if I find a way to stretch this out. If I do, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. But I just want to come and let y'all understand that they, we have, we have a hope in death that is exceedingly abundantly amazing. You know, um, because I just think it's amazing the fact that we have something to look forward to in death. You know? Like, when we leave this earth, we aren't leaving everything behind. We're gaining so much more, you know? Like, I think sometimes we get so stuck in what we're missing out on on earth and, and don't think about the things that we're going to gain in heaven. Like, I wrote down in my um my note-taking, my Bible, where I, I wrote my prayer in. I was just, I read what I, what I said. And I think it's beautiful, um, the entire understanding that we can live this life with no regrets. Not worrying about what we missed out on, not worrying about what we what we had to be disciplined on, what we did and didn't do, because living for God, we had we live with no fear, and we live with no regrets. We don't fear because we know that we have a hope in heaven, and then when we leave this earth, no matter what we've endured here on earth, no matter what we've gone through, we're going to a, not just a better place, but a place that is guaranteed to bring more life than this place that we live on now. There is so much death in the midst of the life that we live on here, and it's crazy because sin itself is death, and it leads to the eternal death. And see, we, we look at the breath in people's lungs and don't understand that we, we're walking around a whole bunch of dead men and dead women walking. You know, and so knowing Jesus Christ is to know life, is to gain life, is to to have eternity in your hand. You know, and and it's a blessing because we didn't we didn't accomplish this on our own. We were blessed to gain this gift from a a generous God, a merciful God, a loving God who who gifted us with something we didn't deserve. Even in the midst of our our, our insubordinance, in the midst of our sin, in the midst of our rebel our, our rebellion, He still gave it to us. And above and beyond all that. It's just the understanding of the fact um, that we, we, you know, no fear and no regrets. Because living this life, we have to give God our all, you know? Because if we're truly going to believe in him, if, we're, if we want God's eternity, then we, wanna, we must want God now, you know? Um, a lot of us want God in our death, but not a, a lot of us don't want him in our life. And don't understand that our life is eternal. It's not just when we die, we, 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 we are living even more than we are now. We have life more abundantly. And so the life we live here on earth should reflect the life that we want in heaven. And so while it's going to be difficult to do your best, you know what I'm saying? It, it's We can never be perfect. Our goal should be to embody Christ's likeness as much as possible daily. Growing daily, looking more and more like him daily. And that takes us wanting to look like him now and not waiting until we're in heaven with new bodies. We have to desire to look like our savior daily. And I mean, look, I don't, I'm not perfect with that. I'm not, nobody is. But the point is to grow daily. We must be genuine 
in our search for, for Jesus Christ, in our search for God, in, in, in our love for him. Because if we want eternity, we have to not just want it in our death. We have to want it here on earth today. And so my entire goal is for people to learn to get excited. You know, I'm not saying go looking to die and be being ready at the first snap to die. My point is when Jesus comes back, we have to be ready. And above and beyond that, y'all, life is not forever. People die old, young, and no matter how, what your age is nowadays. <clears throat> it's crazy. And so you have to be willing to say, if I die today, I am ready to meet my Savior, and in fact, I am going to, because I can say right now that when I die, I'm going to heaven, not because of who I am, but because of who died on the cross for me, and because I've accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and he's done the final work, and because of him, I will go to heaven because of what he has done for me, and I can say that, proclaim that, and know that as truth, because it is in the word, and so we have to be able to say that, live that, and know that, and if we know that we have eternity with Christ, then we need to live like it. We need to live like we have a God in heaven who is blessed with eternity that we did not deserve. And so that takes us beginning to give our all to him, living life as if he has done the finished work that he says he has. And that, that, that really takes us submitting ourselves in all our ways and genuinely giving up this life here for the life that he has given us on eternity. Because again, we don't have to wait till we die to see heaven on earth. We can see heaven on earth today. We have to want to see eternity now. We do not have to wait till we're dead. So my point to you today is to understand that because God did his finished, Jesus did his finished work on the cross for us, because we have eternity, we have a hope, we have faith, and we, we, what we don't have, we do not have fear, we do not have regrets. There is nothing to regret. We are going to give up our sinful ways in this life. Let's do it. Let's give it all to the Lord and let's begin to walk in his ways. Let's give up that evilness. Give up those, that, that hatred. Give up those things that are not of God. And while it, it may be difficult, be, may be times you want to walk in your old sins, understand, do not regret walking in righteousness because understand all you're doing is, is, is walking in the fullness of what God has presented unto you in eternity. Let's go ahead and claim that gift. Live in it. And thrive it and thank God for it because again, we will not regret it when the clock hits zero. Let us pray. God, I pray that there's a there's a bulk and a multitude of people, Lord God, who will hear this word, people who may not even hear this word, Lord God, but have decided to give themselves to you and will decide in their hearts, Lord God, to make it real. Make, Lord God, their relationship with you real, Lord God, and not just wait till they die, Lord God, but live their lives daily, looking and searching to see you in their lives. We thank you for your finished work on the cross, and we pray that we do not look at it, Lord God, and diminish the work you've done in our hearts, but instead, Lord God, look, Lord God, to fulfill, Lord God, the purposes you've given us, and look to 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 magnify your name, glorify you, Lord God, through the way that we live day by day, Lord God, looking to, to use the mighty gifts you've given us, Lord God, to, to ultimately praise your name on high. We want to say thank you for it. Thank you for your finished work on the cross. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your hand of protection you guide and you place upon us, Lord God. And for the fact that you are, you, you, you place a significant role in our life, not just in death, Lord God, but on this earth. And so, God, we do not have to wait till we die to see you. We do not have to wait, Lord God, until the, the final hour, Lord God, to, to give our lives to you. But today, Lord God, we can live, Lord God, like you've done the work that you said. And so we say thank you for eternity. We want to live life today like we're already there, Lord God, because we understand that eternity did not begin, Lord God, our death, but it began, Lord God, the day that we chose your son, Jesus Christ, over ourselves. And so we give up our ways, we give up our sins, and we give up our old desires to walk in the newness, Lord God, in the newness of the creature you created us, Lord God, and the change that you've done in our hearts, Father, because it's a great and mighty work, Lord God. And we say thank you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen. Ooh. All that light always gets back with my eyes, man. But hey, y'all enjoy this vlog, man. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. I pray you enjoy the vibe, man. Hey, no limit. Ah. Young and winning, we'll say that.